I took out my braids and the fro is out, but it's looking kind of crazy because of this weather. And I gotta put air in my tires, so I'll be right back. Okay, so like I was saying, oh, let me lower this down because I don't want no copyrights. Okay, so I'm on my way now because I gotta go to the post office and mail some stuff out for my day off. I hope everybody's doing a good, having a good day with this quarantine and to all my wrestling fans out there. How did y'all feel about WrestleMania? I did already posted a review of what I felt and I did both parts. Um, like I said, I didn't, I didn't watch the kickoff because at that time on that Saturday when it was posted, um, I was actually still working so I didn't get a chance. I didn't pay attention enough because I got really busy at my day job that Saturday. I guess because of the fact that of what's going on, everybody wants to have internet. So, you know, I got to tend to my customers and make sure everybody's taken care of. So I was able to watch WrestleMania alone. Oh, that's that banging noise. Every time I hear something, I'll be like, oh my God, what's that sound? Don't mind me, y'all. But anyway um i was able to watch WrestleMania both nights um oh, i need to stop saying um sorry y'all wanted also, also watched the drew mcintyre chronicle because what was crazy with the drew mcintyre chronicle right get this so apparently like he um oh uh, i gotta stay on saying um he went to Scotland, because, you know, he's from Scotland, I believe, to visit some family. But what happened was that because of that whole situation, the whole coronavirus situation happened, you know, they were trying to, like, sh you know, shut down the whole airport. So it looked like he was not going to make it to WrestleMania. Till then afterwards, you know, I watched WrestleMania last night. He made it, and he won the title about fucking time because been in long enough. I mean, he won the NC title. I'm not going to give credit for that, but it's been a minute like he been there and he did the World Rumbles and he never won until he did. I ain't going to lie. When he won the World Rumble, I lost my shit. I was like, oh my God, it's about time. Sheesh. I mean, oh my God. So, with that being said, if you have not watched WrestleMania parts one and two, you need to go watch it. Y'all need to go watch it. Y'all thank me later. Let me see if I got both my wallets. Yeah, I do. So y'all will thank me later when y'all watch both WrestleManias. It's like 69 degrees, but it feels like 80. Yikes. And it's not that much pollen. Well, it's pollen, but it's not that much pollen like it was before. Like, it was, like, really, really crazy. Hold on. Let me take out this trash real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yikes. Yeah, I'm on my way to the mailbox right now, so this vlog might be hella short. But I wanna go ahead and talk to you guys. I wanna know which mailbox, I mean, I'm trying to figure out which one is closer, which one I should drive to. Uh, I'll just go to one down on 78, no big deal. I need to drive to like clear my thoughts. Anyway. Um, like I said, I need to stop saying, um, I'm sorry, y'all. It's a bad habit. 
so so far ever since this whole lockdown situation happened it's like before they had really 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 started locking down folks what happened hold on my earring being weird what happened was i found out that there was even people in new york that was still partying uh, and also I found out that there was people in Jersey that was still partying and I found out at my day job that a technician passed away that was in New Jersey and on top of that there was people you know in Panama because my parents are Panamanian there was people in Panama that was still partying and they was just doing too much and they was like oh they was not caring at all so what I believe happened was since motherfuckers didn't know how to sit down and shut the fuck up and take this shit seriously, they said, oh no, we're going to have to get you quarantined for about, what, two weeks? I don't know. First they said it was like till, I believe, the, four, the 13th, but then things are changing, so who knows? I know a lot of people are still like not practicing social distancing as if like they have to be around people and the only people I don't understand that has to be and I said this in my Sunday talks the only people who I know who has that tendency has to be around people is I know it's depression because people fall into depression when they're by themselves and it gets real bad because they need that social support that's understandable sometimes anxiety does play a role in that but anxiety doesn't because me, I do have anxiety, but my anxiety is like, whereas it's bad to whereas if I feel like I'm backed into a corner by somebody or I feel like I'm around a lot of people, I tend to doze off, I tend to like trail off. Like my body's here, but my mind is somewhere else. So I'm okay with the quarantine. But some people, like, they get anxious, like, you know, what happens when they're not around people? And they say, like, you know, it's best to be around people that's, like, family, close friends, not, like, just random people. Like, I'm sorry, but no. Like, there's people who just want to do this because they just want to be seen, and that's, like, fucking sad, and that's horrible. And it's like they're still not paying attention to what's going on, but it's okay. It's gonna bite them in the ass once it hits home. I don't wish that upon nobody, but it, it's, it's to the point it has to happen once it hits home. And with this being said, like it gives me time to relax, put up more content. I still am working on putting up more content, but the crazy part is like with my camera, every time I try to transfer like some stuff, like my camera dies. So I think I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order me a backup battery. So just in case that happens again, I can just go ahead and take it out and then put in the battery back in and you know finish up my transfer and you know finish where I left off. And another thing I wanna go ahead and do is like I believe I'm caught up on some shows, if I'm not mistaken. But ever since I've been on in the YouTube world and I've been on like that whole, you know, going out to network and stuff like that and do stuff on my vlog, I haven't been watching. I've been fell off a lot of shows. I fell off a lot of, uh, with Love and Hip Hop. All the Love and Hip Hops I fell off with Miami, New York, Atlanta. I used to be so excited to just go and watch it but now it's just like I don't even care for it no more it's like it's, it's not a big deal for me also like the Real Housewives shows like I used to be big on Real Housewives online I used to be big on Real Housewives on Potomac I don't even watch that shit no more hell I used to watch Real Housewives in New Jersey I don't even watch that no more like there's a lot of shows I stopped watching and stopped messing with um, I mostly just watch like wrestling and mostly YouTube if I'm not doing that now I just started on what doing TikTok but I haven't I only did one TikTok video most likely I might end up doing more TikTok videos whenever I can like just to see get the feel around it I just want to look at other things because usually I just watch a lot of TikTok videos and let me tell you something I found out some sh some dark shit some scary shit I was just like holy hell like don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with it. I, it's 
like because i'm into the, like the whole dark shit anyway so it's not a big deal for me but man like oh my god like it's i don't know how to explain it and then they got some good looking guys in there but there's some guys in there that's good looking i'm telling you this right now they you gotta make sure they're uh, your age because they be looking young as fuck young babies no i don't do simulac sorry and then there's some tiktoks i watch like i know i can reenact them like the ones i'm now i'm not gonna do is that savage one because everybody in their mama's doing it or that one with the um Oh, I forgot how they go. The Tootsie Slide, like this, the Switch one, I'm not gonna do that one. This some, the only ones I'm gonna reenact is just either like some that I know that suits for me. Me, 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 and me only. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be reenacting to. And if you feel here the wind, my bad, because I'm outside driving and whatnot. Still do drive off, drop offs. You sure can. Mm. I think you can do drive off, drop offs. Let me go inside. I think I want to go inside and drop this off. Um, can I drop this off? Let me see if I can just go inside. Just to be better safe inside. Because I don't know if I want to miss my shit or not. Oh, I got to go around now. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Off real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Oh, why is this so? Hold on. All right, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and head on back home. I just really went ahead and like dropped stuff at the mailbox. And what's crazy is like people are really wearing masks and wearing gloves and stuff, and being really safe out here because this is not a joke. This is not a game. Um. It's real out here. So I'm about to go ahead and head on back. Oh. I'm about to go ahead and end this vlog. Um, I just got back home. And make sure you stay inside. Practice social dis distancing. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I know this vlog is like hella short. But, you know, that was all the errors I had to run today. I had to send some stuff out. Until then. Peace. <laughs>